children, welcome to Guru Gedara with another interesting lesson. Here we are with Miss Watsala and we wish you a very happy and a healthy new year as well. Miss Watsala, so uh, a very happy new year and how are you today? Wish you the same and I'm fine. Hope you are also fine. Yes, I'm fine too. Hope our friends, our children are fine as well. Uh, what are we going to teach our children today, Miss Suchitra? All right, children, what are we going to teach you today? So, before learning a language, what do we have to have? What do we have to know? Miss Watsala. Uh, I think we should know the letters. All right, we should know the alphabet and the letters. So, you already know you have learnt the alphabet and today we are going to talk about letters and how we are going to use capitals and symbols in our language. Capital letters and simple letters. All right, so look at the board now and you can see a topic there. What is the topic, Miss Watsala? Let us identify the words that should be capitalized. Let us identify, let us take the word, introduce the words, look at the words that should be capitalized. What is the meaning of capitalized children? To make a letter capital, right? That is the verb here. I have given you the word capitalize to make a letter capital, right? So, what are the three things we should know when you make a letter capitalize? First letter of a sentence. All right. The first letter of a sentence should be in capital letters. Then pronoun I. Pronoun I. What is a pronoun? What are the pronouns we have in our language, Miss Watsala? Uh, we have I, he, she, it, we, they. All right. I, you, we, he, she, it and they are the pronouns. You are going to learn about pronouns in future as well. So, what is the third thing we have to know when we capitalize? Names of people and places. All right. So, names of people and names of places should be written in capital. This is the lesson today. All right, children. We told you that the first letter of a sentence should be capital. Look at this. What is the sentence there? My pet is a dog. My pet is a dog and there is a mistake in this sentence. What is the mistake, children? What is the mistake, Miss Watsala? The first letter should be capitalized. Yes, this is a simple letter we have given there in that sentence and that is wrong. The first letter, remember very well that it should be in capital letters. So, this is the answer. This is the way you correct it. Look at the board. My pet is a dog and you have the first letter M there in capital. Capital, that's right. So, remember first letter of a sentence is always in capital. Then we have a small activity now. What are the mistakes in these sentences? Let's see the sentences first. Shall I read them? Yes. We are good. My teacher is kind. What is your name? The book is on the table. Please give me your book. All right. So, these are the sentences we have given Miss Watsala and you can see children that there are mistakes in these sentences. I told you that the first letter should be in capital. So, are the first letters in capital in the given sentences? No. So, now you know how to make them correct. Let's look at the answers. We are good. They are the first W is capitalized. That's right. My teacher is kind. M is capital. What is your name? Again, the first letter W should be in capital. The book is on the table. The first T is capitalized. Please give me your book. P should be, the first P in the sentence should be in capital letters. So, hope you have understood the first point. Now, when you capitalize the letters. Now, let's talk about pronoun I. As Ms. Watsala uh, mentioned earlier, the pronouns in the language are I, you, we, he, she, it and they. Those are the pronouns we have. 
So, why do we use pronouns in the language? Shall we tell them as well? Uh, yes, instead of a name, we use the pronoun. But, uh, Miss Suchitra, we capitalize only pronoun I in all the places we write, not the other pronouns. Isn't that so? That is right. So, the pronoun I is always in capital. We write the word I in capital. Why is that? Because I am great, right? Remember that. All right. I am a good child. Look at the board now. I am a good child, but there is a mistake. What is the mistake there? I is written in simple, simple letters and that is wrong. How do you make it correct? I am a good child. Yes. I is capitalized. I is capitalized. All right. My sister and I like ice cream. Now, I is there in the middle of a sentence. Then also, can we make that I, pronoun I, capitalized? Yes, sure. That is a must. All right. Even if you have the pronoun I in the middle of a sentence, children, you have to write I in capital. All right. Now, let us look at this as well. My sister and I like ice cream. This is the way you correct it. Not simple I, but capital. All right. Now, you have to rewrite these sentences correctly. What are the sentences? I have a beautiful toy. My brother and I play cricket. My teacher loves me because I am a good child. Yoga and I are friends. All right. So, these are the sentences you are going to rewrite. Using capital letters, the pronoun I should be capitalized all the time when you talk about I, I, okay. All right, Miss Watsala, hope they have done the uh, sentences now correctly. Uh, shall we show them the answers? Yes. Shall I read them again? Yes, please. I have a beautiful toy. Remember children, I is capitalized. Then you have? My brother and I play cricket. There also I is capitalized. My teacher loves me because I am a good child. I is again capitalized. Yoga and I are friends. There also I is capitalized. All right. Remember, whenever you have I in a sentence, that has to be the pronoun I in capital letters. All right. What is the next one we are looking at? Names of people and places. Names of people and names of Places should be capitalized. Now, look here. What is the sentence there? Amal is dancing. Amal is dancing and Amal, we all know that Amal is a name, right? But A has been given in simple letters. A has been given in simple letters. Is that correct? No, it should be capitalized. Like this. Amal, A, you have to write in capital. Mala likes to play. Mala is a name, once again. What should we do? M should be capitalized in Mala. Like this. Capital M for Mala. I live in Colombo. Colombo is a place, but that is written in simple letters. What do we do? We have to make capital C. Capital C for Colombo because that is a place. So, remember we use names of people and names of places in capital letters. We told you three things now. What are those three things? First letter of a sentence should be capitalized. Then always the pronoun I should be in capital. Then people. names of people and places. There also the first letter should be capitalized. All right. Remember these and then we'll move on to a, to a small activity children. Look at this. Read the text. Find the words starting with a, with a capital letter. This is what you are going to do. You are going to read the text and try to find the words starting with a capital letter, which is really easy. It has been given already. So, guess the words. Look at the words and tell me. Uh, yes, please read it. Yes. Hello, I am Purni. My birthday falls in December. It is on Christmas Day. Last year, on my 10th birthday, my father and I went to Nikoli bookshop. 
It was a Wednesday. He bought me two books. They are Muddle Doer and Harry Potter. All right. So this activity is there on your textbook, children, and that is page number forty-one, activity three. So now you can have the book in front of you and do it with us uh, as well. Okay. This is the passage. So what are the uh, uh, words with capital letters you found? These are the words with capital letters. Purni is with a capital P. Why? Miss Vatsala, why is Purni with a capital letter? It's the name of a person. Purni is the name of a girl. Yes, a person. So P has to be in capital. My birthday falls in December. My is a, a word with capital letters. M is capitalized. But why? Because it's the first letter of a sentence. That's right. And December is in capital. D is in capital. Because always you have to remember you, you have to use capital letters when you write the names of months of the year. Because it's a name of a month. Yes. Right. So it's on Christmas day. C is in capital. But why? Because it's a special day. Yes. And it is a festival, a name of a festival. Names are in capital. Last year, last L is in capital because that's the beginning of a sentence. When you start a sentence, when you start a sentence, you have to use the capital letter there. Last year, on my 10th birthday, my father and I went to Nicoli bookshop. Nicoli is a name of a person, a girl. N is in capital. It was a Wednesday. Why Wednesday? W capital there. It's a day of the week. Yes, a name of a day. Yes. A name once again. That is why. He bought me two books. He, H capital. It's the first letter of the sentence. That's right. They are muddle doer. You uh, look at this, they, first letter of a sentence. Once again, muddle doer and Harry Potter. Why are they in capital? Their M names. and D, M, D, H, P. Why are they in capitals? Because they are names. They are names, children. All right, hope you have understood this capitalization. Let's move on to another small activity once again. All right. Okay. Now you are going to read the sentences below and you are going to capitalize them to make them capital. Right. Hello, I'm Sanduni Fernando. All right. Hello, I'm Sanduni Fernando. You are introducing yourself. Sanduni, Sanduni is introducing herself. Right. What are the mistakes there? And also, good morning, everybody. I'm Nisal Pereira. Nisal is introducing himself. Good day to you. My name is Yoga Selvaraj. Right. But there are mistakes. Now, hope our children uh, can guess the mistakes. Yes, because they know where we have made the mistakes. Yes, and they know where to use simple and capital now. Yes. Right. Children, these are, the, these are the answers. Hope you have got them right. Hello, I'm Sandoni Fernando. So you know that you have to make H capital, I capital, I pronoun I is always written in capital S and F Sanduni Fernando names and they have to be in capital. What about good morning everybody? G should be capitalized, I should be capitalized and then N and P because, in Nisal Pereira. Yes, because they are names. Good day to you. G should be capitalized. Then in the second one my Name is Yoga Selvaraj. M should be capitalized. Y in Yoga and S in Selvaraj because should be we, capitalized. Yes, because they are names. Yoga Selvaraj are names. And the first letter M should be capitalized. All right, children. These are the answers. H, S, F. Look at these answers. See whether you have got them correct. Okay. Now another activity, hope you are catching this up children. Look at this, Manuka and his friend need help with capital letters. Now 
you know capital letters, we are to use them appropriately, we are not to use as well. So, uh, hope that you can help these two kids, uh, Manuka and his friend. All right. Shall I read the sentences yes, for them? Yes, please. Yes, please. First one. Sadun shared his lunch with me. Nimal and I are going to candy. My dog's name is Brown. Sara plays with Abdul. We are going to Jaffna for our vacation. Observe these. Look at the sentences properly, children. I have a party on Sunday. Sunil's birthday is in March. Saman and Ajit are brothers. They live in Canada. Noorelia is a beautiful city in Sri Lanka. Now children, we have given you 10 sentences there. What you have to do is to make them capitalize. To write in capital whatever that you have to make capital. Yes, not, not all, all the letters. letters. Not all the letters, right. So think for a while and do it. We will show you this as well. Sandun shared his lunch with me. Nimal, what do you think about those names? Shall we go to the answers? Yes. Look at this. You can see two friends there, Manuka and his friend, Miss Vatsala. Yes. We are going to help them actually. All right. These are the answers. So as you know, the first letter should be in capital. Pronoun I should be in capital. And Miss Vatsala, what's the last one? Names of places and people? Yes. Names should be in capital in general. Name of a month also yes. should be in capital. And right. also the days of the week? That's right. A festival, Christmas, Vesak, any festival, New Year should be in capital. Right. Now let's look at the answers. Sandun shared his lunch with me. S should be in capital because that is a name. In the second sentence, we have, to, we have three capital letters. Nimal, I and Candy. N in Nimal and the pronoun I and K in Candy. Right? That's right. Candy is a place. That's why we write that in capital. My dog's name is Brown. M capital because that's the start of the sentence. Brown is the name. B capital. Sara plays with Abdul. Sara, Abdul, S and A in capital because they are names. We are going to Jaffna for our vacation. We, the first letter of the sentence and Jaffna is the name of a place. That's right. I have a party on Sunday. I pronoun I should be always in capital. Sunday is the name of the uh, a day of a week. S should be in capital. Sunil's birthday is in March. March is the name of a month. So it has to be in capital. Sunil is a name. You know that. S in capital. Saman and Ajit are brothers. S in Saman and A in Ajit should be capitalized because they are names. That's right. They live in Canada. They, you start the word with, you start the sentence with they. So, T has to be in capital. Canada, a name of a country. So, C in capital. Nuarelia is a beautiful city in Sri Lanka. What should be capitalized? Uh, N in Nuarelia, S in Sri and L in Lanka. Here Ms. Suchitra, what our children always do is, mm -hmm. they only write S capital. Only Sri in capital. Capital, S, yes. L, all, uh, most of the time they use simple L. And that is wrong. So, yes. both words in Sri Lanka should be written in capital, S and L. All right, children, let's go to, are you tired? Let's go to another small activity. Ms. Vatsala, what do you say? We will go for an activity. Alright, so you are going to rewrite this passage using capital letters where necessary. Please read it for us. Activity 3, page 29 that you can find it in your workbook. So you can turn your workbook and do it with us. Yes. Isn't that so? That's right. Okay. Rewrite the passage using capital letters where necessary. It was a cold day. It rained all night in Matugama. Rahal and I went outside to play. We didn't see this much rain last year. Uncle Dilipa said it rained heavily in 1990s too. Rahul and I decided to make paper boats to float in the water. 
he started to fold a big sheet of paper. I colored the boot. Then we ran inside and asked mother for a pair of scissors to cut out a flag. We then found a toffee wrapper for the flag. We called out, we called our boat Samayatra. All right, children, now you know what to do, right? Make them capitalize where necessary. All right, children, look at this. I should be in capital. Again, first letter, I should be in capital. Matugama, because that's the place. M should be in capital. Rahal, a name once again. Pronoun I. We didn't see W in capital because that is the first, first letter. letter. Uncle, first letter. Dilipa. Dilipa is a name. a name. So, D capital. Rahal, R, -R capital. I. I, pronoun, capital. He. he, because that starts the sentence. H capital. I again is in capital because that is a pronoun. Remember, when you talk about the pronouns, I always in capital. W here, V then found, V, W is in capital because that's the uh, start of the sentence. Next one, V called our boat Samayatra, W, beginning of the sentence, again in capital. Samayatra, it's a vehicle of peace, right? So, that is a name, S and Y in capital letters. All right. Children, hope you have understood this lesson today. And we have another one. This is rewrite this using capital letters where necessary. Look at this. This is there on your workbook. That is page 31. This is activity 6. We can let them do it on their own, miss. Yes. Workbook page 31, act, uh, activity 6. Please look at the book and do it after the lesson right now. Okay, don't forget. They know where to use capital letters now. Maybe uh, they have understood the lesson very clearly, hope. And uh, what are we going to do now next? We have given you the answers also, but it's better for them to do it alone, right? Yes. Okay, so this is what we did today. Capitalization. First letter of a sentence. Pronoun yes. I. Yes. Names of people and places. All right, children. So, hope you have understood the lesson clearly. So, join hands with Guru Gedara lessons every day. And when you want to watch them again and again, they have their YouTube channel and that is channel NIE. So, uh, stay safe and stay blessed, happy always. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye.